A fifth cross was put in the ground yesterday at this makeshift memorial site to mark the death of sailor Randall Smith, shot three times during Thursday's rampage. <sighs> Hundreds came to visit, including the family of one of the victims, Staff Sergeant David Wyatt. Wyatt's father, Alan, says his son died after helping several others escape. They uh, were able to get um, 18 people uh, away over the fence and then they counted and there were two missing. And uh, my son, Sergeant Wyatt, and Gunnery Sergeant Sullivan went back to look for the other two, uh, whereupon they ran into the shooter and uh, were fired upon and killed. Beyond the flowers and flags, you could see the FBI gathering evidence. Investigators are also looking for clues into what might have motivated the shooter, Mohammed Youssef Abdulaziz. They are focusing on several trips he took overseas, especially a seven-month visit to Jordan last year. Officials caution it's too early to say if he was inspired by ISIS or other terror groups. Late last night, the Abdulaziz family expressed their condolences to all the victims. There are no words to describe our shock, horror, and grief. The person who committed this horrible crime was not the son we knew and loved. For many years, our son suffered from depression. A complicated picture is beginning to emerge of Abdulaziz. In his high school yearbook, he noted that his name causes national security alerts. In 2013, he lost his job at an Ohio power plant, and this past April, he was pulled over for driving under the influence. Friends say he told them he was at a firing range recently, and in a blog post attributed to Abdulaziz, written just three days before the shootings, the author encourages readers to submit to Allah. CBS News national security analyst Juan Zarate. One of the scary and dangerous dimensions of this case is the fact that perhaps we couldn't have done more to prevent the attack. And I think that's really the danger of these kinds of potential lone wolf cases. Hour by hour, this tribute continues to grow. Chattanooga is still coming to grips with the shootings. Many here, like Cassandra Daniels, say they're relying on faith to see them through. We as a people united as human beings on this planet must learn to love and understand each other. Alan Wyatt understands what his son did here had a purpose. I'm uh, extremely proud of my son, um, of uh, all of the, the men who died there. Um, when things did start to happen, they stepped up and did their job like they were trained to do.